Hello, my name is Lady Salaitsky. Hello, my name is Beatriz Renault. We are graduation students of the seventh semester of Chemical Engineer from the Federal University of Rio Grande, and we present this video tutorial titled Measuring System Use the HCSR04 Ultrasonic Sensor and Microcontroller Board Arduino Uno. This presentation is an evaluation of the class Control and Automation of Chemical Processes given by Professor Dr. Renato Dutra Pereira Filho. The HCSR04 sensor is normally used for measuring distance between an obstacle and its interface through the emission of ultrasonic signals having frequency above 40 kHz. This distance may range from 2 cm to 4 m with an accuracy of up to 3 mm and a detection angle of approximately 15 degrees. A practical application of the sensor is in Car par car parking systems. The board Arduino Uno was created in 2005 in Italy and received this name because it opens a series of microcontroller boards. Among its advantages, its connection through USB port is the most remarkable, which today is universal and present in all computers. The creation of this board has a certain educational nature, since it has a low cost and easy to handle, having an accessible language even to lace. A practical application and good current Arduino Uno board is a device that promotes water saving, warning consumers of each liter of wastewater. Finally, the sequence of Arduino board microcontroller has become a very popular system with thousands of borders sold worldwide. The objective of this work is design, implement, assemble, and test a distance measuring system use the ultrasonic sensor HCSR04 and the Arduino Uno board as a data acquisition system, in addition to analyze the operation and the sensor accuracy, efficiency, and the collection board and software data used as well as assembly and the easy hand of handling. The operating principle of the HCSR04 sensor is based on the time that the wave takes to reach an obstacle and to return again to reach the sensor interface which has been sent, as shown in, the, in this figure. This sensor has a four pins to be connected to the Arduino board. The ground pin is responsible for the electrical grounding of, of the sensor, avoiding possible burnings and overloads. The echo pin detects the return wave and communicates to the data acquisition system. The trigger pin indicating the start of data transmission between the sensor and the board, and the VCC pin, which is responsible for the sensor power, which is 5 volts. In this picture, you can see the four mentioned pins highlighting the echo and trigger pin that are largely responsible for sending and receiving the ultrasonic wave. In this flowchart, we can make a sketch of the sensor used operant cycle, a 10 millisecond pulse sent, which puts at the trigger pin at high level. When the pin is set on, the transmission between the sensor and the board begins. After the trigger pin goes to low level, an 8 pulse of 40 kHz are sent by the sensor. Then the echo pin trigger triggers the high level for a remaining time and the upon receiving the return information of the wave to the sensor interface changed to the low level. A simplified schematic is shown in the figure. The time the echo pin remains at the high level is used to calculate the distance between the obstacle and the sensor by the formula in which it is multiplied by the speed of the sound in air and divided by 2 due to the fact that the sensor measures the time which the wave takes to go and to come back. In this case, we want to get just one time, going or coming back. The Arduino board used has the function to connect the sensor with its operating program. It has 14 digital input and output pin and 6 analog input pin with 10 bits in resolution. Its operation voltage may be 3.3 or 5 volts and its flash memory 32 kb, which can be observed in the image. The program code made in the Arduino software is loaded on, onto the board by USB port and it transmits the code to the sensor. Then, during operation, display the data provided by the sensor in the serial monitor software. In this work, we use an exponential moving average filter. Its basic function is to eliminate noise and disturbances so that you can make a better analysis of the collected data with better accuracy and precision. The formula consists in the filter value, which is calculated using the raw, which is the value collected by the data acquisition system. 
The alpha is the multiply term, which ranges from 0 to 1 and indicates the weight you want to give to the raw value and to the filtered value that was collected immediately before the one that is being calculated now. The materials used in this work were HCSRO4, ultrasonic sensor, Arduino Uno board, proto board, connections jumper, notebook, 30 cm school ruler, 5 meters measuring tape, cardboard shoebox, insulating tape, and scissors. The first step was the methods assembly between the sensor and the board. The figure shows an exemplified scheme of this connection. The ground pin sensor was connected to the board ground, VCC pin sensor was connected to the 5 volts input of the board, the echo pin and the trigger pin are connected in different digital inputs. In this work, they were then tries 4 and 3 respectively. Then, the programming code that was used in class was adapted for the purpose of this work. The exponential filter and the change of some of the variables were added. After loading the code on the board, was initi initiated the calibration as shown. This photo shows the calibration at 20 cm, where a reference ruler measured the distance between the sensor and the obstacle, a cardboard box. Measurements of 10, 20 and 30 cm spacing were made with alphas of 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. To each of this combination were chosen 5 filtered values and they were chosen by values that have appeared more times in a period of time after stabilization as shown in the table. After collecting the calibration values, a calculation of the percent error was made to conclude the precision of the measures related to the reference measure. The formula used is the difference of these values divided by the real value multiplied by 100. Thus, a new table showing the value of the error for each measurement calibration was constructed and, from the smallest error value, was the alpha chosen to be used in the measurement. In this work, the alpha is 0.1. Choosing the right alpha is very important to the accuracy of the results since they shouldn't be too distant from the real measure, which generates a greater reliability for the experiments. These results were obtained from measurements of distance of 20 to 100 cm at intervals of 10 cm between the measures. As reference was used a measuring tape attached to the table and started marked exactly in the sensor interface. The raw values were being obtained in real time and was awaited at time stabilization up to 3 or 5 minutes because the calculation of the future value was being done in real time as well in the software. During this time interval, the value that appeared more times in the stereo monitor for each measurement was chosen, both raw and filtrated. Then the calculation of the percentage error between the filtered values and actual values was made to make an analysis for the accuracy of the measures. A table with the actual measurement, the raw value, the filtered value and the error value for each of them was built. It was observed that the error value decreased as the distance between the sensor and the obstacle increased. In order to analyze this inverse proportion, a simple graph of the relationship between the error and the actual measurement was built and could be seen that this ratio is proved. The no conservation of the proportion and the unexpected peaks can be explained by the fact that the operation angle sensor can cover a bigger area than just the distance between the obstacle and the sensor. Furthermore, it may occur experimental, experimental and analytical, analytical errors during the measurements. From the experiments, it was concluded that the ultrasonic sensor HTSRO4 has a high precision measurement, such as an efficient measurement method that has a low variation in the percentage error. The percentage error value itself has also been very low, what proves the point. The use of the exponential moving average filter has proved itself quite important since the results of refining value assisted directly on the results and the conclusion of this work. The installation and implementation of the system sensor and board was made without major problems, without any kind of crashes or needs to redo the operations, since the connection between them and the computer has a high quality. Moreover, the language used by Arduino software is available even for LACE. These points demonstrate that this assembly forms has a good data acquisition system. The design, installation and implementation of the system sensor and board as the collection and the analysis of desired values of measurements were carried out successfully, proving that the objective of this work was achieved. These are the references used in the preparation of this work. Thanks for the attention.